our board is 100% dedicated to the education of our students in Dare County. Um, we work very, very closely with the Board of Education uh, and, and work in a, a funding formula that works for them. They've got a budget of some $57 million in Dare County's $22, $23 million of that budget. Um, had a conversation with uh, the chairman of the Curry Tuck Board of Commissioners a couple of years ago, and uh, I was concerned about the College of the Abermore and our students here graduating from high school and um, having to go to Elizabeth City to take classes in order to be able to finish their uh, education. And I don't have to tell you, uh, I've driven that road many times to Hertford for Albemarle Board Commission as well as Commissioner Ross now the last year. And when you, when you make that left-hand turn at a barco, that's a long stretch, dark road. I didn't like an 18-year-old student, female or male, having to drive that road. And I said something to Mr. O'Neill. I said, look, we, we got we to gotta do something in Dare County to promote um, uh, an associate's degree in Dare County where our kids don't have to go to Elizabeth City. And he said, I agree. We talked. He um, said, if you all will build a new facility, uh, we'll make sure you get the curriculum. We talked about this for a number of months. I made that presentation to our board. Once again, our board's committed to educating our kids in Dare County. And our board stepped up to the plate. We're now going to build a facility in Manio that's going to be a multi-purpose facility. We've stepped up to $7 million, and we're hoping to get another one and a half. Uh, we'll see. We got. Uh, Mr. Hainig in the room tonight, so he's going to help us get that one and a half. <laughs> I serve as a trustee on that board. I must admit, I was frustrated of serving on that board because there was no advertising. There's no. How many of you have ever seen Tide Board of Community Colleges? Uh, uh, commercials on TV. Raise your hand. They, they, they're awesome. Yeah. Chancellor of William & Murray, Chancellor of Old Dominion, Chancellor of VMI, Chancellor of the University of Virginia. The list goes on and on. Come to TCC, get a two-year degree, you're welcome with arms. Rotate right in and we'll give you a four-year college degree. We weren't doing any of that. I was frustrated. So I said, wait a minute. If we're going to spend eight and a half million dollars in Dare County for a new campus right up the road here, which you got to admit, it's an absolutely awesome location driving down the middle of Manion. Unbelievable. No telling what the next 10, 20 years may bring. But I said, I'm going to promote this because I can't, I can't spend your taxpayers' dollars. I can't do it in good conscience of, without making sure we're going to be able to provide the students for the FTEs full-time enrollment so that we can continue to get funded from the state. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to spend your taxpayer dollar. So I'm hitting the circuit. So I want to share the circuit with you tonight. College of the Admiral. Guys right here. Look, here's some history. Following World War II, Jack. Seven Albemarle coastal counties faced major economic challenges as a surge as veterans started returning home. They didn't have jobs. They didn't have look 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 what was agriculture seasonal right here. Agriculture, fishing, lumber, tourism. They were the four largest industries that remained seasonal in Dare County. As a result of that, the pressure created demands for educational facilities to teach residents needed to succeed in the changing world after World War II. Look at this right here. 113 students in 1961 
Now, I, I, I was lousy in math, but I think that's about 57 years ago. 113 students, guess how many we got today? 2,700 enrolled, enrolled in COA in a two-year program. 5,000 if you count the trades and the uh, adult learning. 5,000. Next year, we'll celebrate 50 years in Dare County in 2019. Classes in Dare County since 1969. All right, let's look ahead. I, said, I mentioned that to you earlier about looking ahead. Investing in the future. I told you about the new consolidated uh, uh, campus <coughs> here and there, the $8.5 million that we want to spend in Dare County. COA Task Force. I put the monkey on uh, Commissioner Couch's back about eight months ago, six or eight months ago. He accepted the challenge 100%. He led that task force because we wanted, if we were going to provide a two-year program in Dare County, we wanted to make sure we, we had all the curriculum that we could get out of COA. And Danny was gracious enough to spearhead, Malcolm served on that, on that task force, to uh, gather input from the community so that we could make some recommendations to the trustees of, their, of COA as far as curriculum is concerned. And also coming out of that was a flex space that adaptions could be uh, easily and affordable as curriculums changed. We didn't want to put a lab in there. We wanted to be able to uh, make it so that we could remove and, and add labs or whatever we needed to do. It had to be flex space as times change with respect to that. Here's what they came up with. They hit it all. They hit every single aspect in Dare County. Hospitality, culinary, customer service, property management. You know, most of y'all know we got tons of property management in Dare County. Public safety, EMS, uh, emergency management, basic law enforcement, fire, agriculture, uh, environmental and natural resources, even CDL license, believe it or not. There are a lot of businesses in Dare County right now that can't find guys that, or women that have a CDL license. That's critical. Uh, trades, plumbing, HVAC, welding, electrical, we've got Tim Sweeney who's dean of Dare County campus. He is really working hard. He's, he's already got HVAC. He's already got welding. He's, he's partnering with the ferry division on the welding right now. It's un, unbelievable the programs he's putting together. We, we're doing electrical. He's got another electrical class he's going to teach. Screen printing, learning opportunities. Existing facilities in Dare existing facilities. Y'all are very much aware of the fact that right here on Roanoke Island, basic skills building, professional arts building, we have the jewelry, the HVAC, the welding, the drones, pottery, art, small business center, workforce development. Then right down the road, just a, just a mile or so down the road, we've got the Dare campus and the Russell Trifon property. We've got technology center, we've got library, student center, labs, lectures, information highway. Pay attention to this right here, folks. These are the degrees that can be, can be completed without leaving Dare County. The key word here is without leaving Dare County, without. Associates in Arts, General Education, and Associates in Science. Look at this. I talked to you just a minute ago about welding, but these are the, these are the professional certifications you can get. Professional craft and jewelry, Certified nurses aid, welding, HVAC, early childhood. 400,000 jobs in welding throughout the entire country are, are, vac are available right now. 400,000. 400 in North Carolina. 17,000 in Virginia. You know how much those guys make? Six figures, right, Terry? Six figures. Six figures they can make. Let's show that video. I was working two jobs and struggling to make ends meet. 
Then I found College of the Albemarle's Dare County campus. With just four semesters of welding classes, I was able to earn my certificate, all without having to leave the Outer Banks. And thanks to the scholarships available to Dare County residents, the cost of the program is nearly free. So what are you waiting for? Why not dare to do better? Good stuff. I want to thank uh, Jed Dixon of Ferry Division working out with Tim Sweeney uh, on this welding program. Uh, it's, it's really, really popular, and they, they got kids waiting in line. In addition to associates and adult learning and all that, online, these are the online that, that's available at COA. And, and you can learn anytime, uh, anywhere. Uh, criminal justice, uh, I, I'm not going to insult your intelligence for reading this, medical assistance, supply chain information technology, all of these, all of these are online courses that you can take in, uh, at COA. Here's the good stuff. They got two or three, of, there's a couple of slides in here I'm going to share with you in a minute. If you don't learn anything tonight, I want you to take those two slides and information I share with you this evening. This right here, General Education Transfer Agreement, is, a, is an associate's degree available at Dare County campus, and it's guaranteed to transfer to any UNC system, uh, university, associates in arts and science. And completion of these two-year degrees doesn't necessarily guarantee admission to specific universities, but we've got relationships with all of these uh, that's shown on this board right here this evening. That's good stuff, folks. That's good stuff. I don't have to tell you, there's a lot of people, and I, and I don't think he, might, he would mind me sharing this. He shared it publicly. Dr. Farley, our superintendent, he got his associate's degree at a, at a college, the community college, and he got his doctor's degree. You know, Judge Tillett, Jerry Tillett, he, he graduated two years from COA. Artie, who's administrator for the school system, graduated from COA. I mean, it, it don't get any better than that, folks. East Carolina, I got a little bit of partiality to this. Where did you go to school? Uh, uh, East, students will apply to participate in community college at ECU simultaneously and commit to maintaining full-time status. And upon completing an associate's degree, they will seamlessly transition into a degree completion program at ECU. ECU. All of this stuff right here. North Carolina Wesleyan, complete the following four-year degree online at COA, Dare County Campus through North Carolina Wesleyan. You can get them in those four categories. Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Computer Information, Arts and Criminal Justice, Science and Marketing. You can do all of that online. Right here, dual enrollment, and we, we, we intend to double this in DARE. And we are going to double it so that we can get our FTEs up in, in, uh, in COA so that the state doesn't threaten taking funding away from us. 189 DARE County High School students currently participating in dual enrollment. When they start college, they will have saved $98,000 in tuition and fees, and this is strict rate data from our BOE. Once again, I stunk in math, but Mr. Ross, you can help me with this. That's about $519 a student. And that's just one semester. One semester. Okay. This is the slide. I want you to just keep it in your head. And we got hand notes right here. This is so important. You can go to COA and get an associate's degree for $6,500. Go to ECU, it's $37,000. Go to the great school of North Carolina State, it's $42,000. And the list goes on and on. Go to UNC Wilmington, 37. Go to Appalachian State, 31. You say, well, Bob, hold on a minute, time out. You got room and board in there. Well, yes, I know that. But you're still $10,000 if you take out the room and board at ECU. You're still $10,000 ahead. Same thing with NC State. Same thing with UNC. Same thing with Appalachian State. 
These are critical numbers for our parents in Dare County to understand how important it is to save money and get your associate's degree right here where you are and then go off to a four-year institution. This slide, I want to hit parents right between the eyes with it. I can't wait to go to the school and stand right there in front of them and say, Terry, what? you can't deal with that? You can't, you, you want to save some money? So my daughter came home with the COA. There you go. There you go. I can't wait to hit parents right between the eyes. Now let me give you another one that's important. Check this next slide out. Two years at ECU, then they transfer to um, ECU, totals 37000 Guess what their monthly loan payment is? $413. If you go four years at ECU by itself, 68,000, look what their loan payment is for, uh, a month. For 10 years, it's 6%. 10 years, it's 6%. North Carolina ranks number 10 in the nation for states with the most student loans. Number 10 in the country. Look at this next number. 68% of seniors who graduated from public colleges in 2015 had student loan debt. 68%. Guys, if these two slides don't hit you right between the eyes, something's wrong with you. I, I don't understand. This is the best thing going. The best thing going. COA Foundation scholarships are available based in the area of study, need, location, and merit. And scholarships are available for students transferring from COA to four-year school. Additional scholarships for Dare County residents available through the Outer Banks Community Center. I just got this. I just got this earlier. Somebody gave me on a note. But let me go back to COA Foundation. There's 105 scholarships that the COA Foundation provides. 74 of those 105 scholarships. Dare County students can apply for 74 of those 105. They're eligible to, to compete in 74 of those, 74 of the 105. Last year, COA gave out $78,000, $78,000 to Dare County students. The Dare County out of Banks Community Foundation, I just got these numbers today, 54 students received $135,000 last year. Once again, do the math, that's about $2,700 a kid. Not all of them got $2,700. Some of them got $10,000. Some of them got $500. You get a couple of $1,000 scholarships here and couple of 500 here, all you got to do is apply. That's all you got to do. And the problem is, in Dare County, we're not getting our students to apply for the Out of Banks Community Foundation scholarships. And I've had a meeting with them recently, and I'm going to the guidance counselors in the high school and say, guys, we got this available. Why aren't you, why aren't you passing it on to our kids? Why aren't you passing it on? It's important. That's a lot of money sitting on the table that's not even being used. Not even being used. Here's some added value, professional workforce development. I don't have to go through every one of these. Nurses aid, Spanish, uh, teaching Spanish, medical aid, notary, uh, vehicle safety inspection. All of these are professional workforce development uh, programs that COA has available to our kids. That ends my presentation. I'm a, as I said earlier, I'm a trustee on the College of the Admiral. I haven't even presented this to the Board of Trustees, but I can't wait to get in front of them and show this to them. And, and, and I don't even get paid to do that as a trustee. Why isn't the campus doing that? I mean, and, you know, and I've had this conversation with Dr. Weininger, but we're going to make it happen in Dare County. We got, I got six commissioners that's committed to eight and a half million dollars. 
they, they're, not gonna, they're not gonna sit back and not see this succeed. Because that's your taxpayer dollar. Help me, folks. I'm here to tell you. I'm asking you, I'm begging you to help me. Help me help our kids get the best education they can humanly possibly get coming out of Dare County to make a good living. Be it the trades, be it college. My oldest son, and I'll close with this, he could have cared less about college. Could have cared less. He said, Dad, I ain't going to college. I ain't cut out. He said, I, hell, I just barely got through high school with my wife and, and my help. He goes into the shipyard, gets in the apprentice program in the pipe shop, out of, uh, pipe shop at the shipyard in, in Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth. Goes through that program, gets his apprenticeship, graduates from his apprenticeship. He's been there 16 years now. He is now a GS-12 in the engineering department. A GS-12 in the engineering department. And he went through the trades. He was a small guy. They stuck him in every single... All he ever worked on was um, subs. And I'll have to tell you, a submarine is tight as all get out. And he was a scrawny little kid. And they stuck him in all them holes doing all that plumbing for the four years. And then he, then he became, then he worked in that for four more years. Then he became a shop supervisor. Then he became a shop superintendent. Now he's in the engineering department. There's a, there's a um, sub in the yard, two of them, right now. And the work that's going on in those subs, he is on a team that schedules every bit of the work that's to be done on those subs. Every bit of the work. Millions of your tax dollars. On the other hand, I got a, my youngest son. Uh, he, he, he was a high, he, he was an honor grad. He got, um, he got a scholarship to go to North Carolina Wesleyan to play soccer, Division three school. They don't give scholarships to play sports, Division three. Because he was an honor grad, the coach talked to school into giving him an academic scholarship. Well, he got that. Goes to North Carolina Wesley and to play soccer. Now, granted, he's been playing soccer since he was five. And I coached him through all of that in those years. He stayed one semester. My luck. Stayed one semester. I got a picture of a soccer team hanging on my wall at home. It cost me $8,000. <laughs> he says, Dad, he said, I, I, I came as... Get a, he said, I came and went to school to get an education. I said, well, if that's the case, why did your mother and I cut you off after five years and you ain't got, you ain't got any funding anymore? And I gave you a year's notice. And he was mad as a, a old get out because we cut him off after five years because he was partying too much and had a good time. Today, he's married, got two kids. He told me that was the best thing that his mother and I ever did for him. We paid for five solid years, but he said, Dad, you made, you made me wake up. You made me wake up. Folks, those two stories, I guarantee I could repeat them with tons of kids in Dare County. Tons of kids. We have a moral obligation to provide, to provide the best education that we can for our kids in Dare County. And this board right here has stepped up to the plate. And guess what? We're going to make it happen. Thank you all for your time. I appreciate it.